Hi, this is JC with Beyond 20. Today, I just want to take a kind of show you all uh, just a quick trick uh, that I've recently found out. It's not necessarily new, uh, but it is something that I find extremely helpful. Uh, and this is going to be uh, on any of your conditional fields. And so we can see here that I'm in the uh, currently the decision input of the change request. It doesn't really matter where you are as long as it's using a condition. And what I have here, uh, we see I've got a reference uh, qualifier uh, condition here. And if you know the conditions, uh, you have to go down here and click the show related fields if you kind of want to dot walk. And then from here, you can uh, click on if I want to see the group fields. And now I can finally actually see the group fields. Uh, but you can just continuously kind of click these things and, and, and get further down the, down the, the dot walking. It's kind of a pain because there's so many clicks, and I want to show you a quicker way to do it. So if you go into uh, right click and go to configure dictionary here, what we're going to do is we're going to add an attribute. So the attribute we're adding here is condition underscore builder equals v2. Now, if you already have uh, attributes here, they are just comma separated, no spaces, so you can add this uh, as well. And once we've added this attribute, let me click update here. We'll wait for it to load. And now when I go into my conditions here, we can see that it's using the new version and I can just click through. I don't have to go and say show related fields. I can just continue dot walking as far as I need to. So it's just, to me, it's a lot easier, makes things a lot quicker uh, to build conditions by, by adding that condition underscore builder equals V2. Um, so I hope it helps and, and makes your uh, development easier as well. Uh, thank you and have a great day. Thank <laughs> you.